WBT Action 7 News. The government is handing out tax rebates and officials are debating new laws to encourage the public to buy electric vehicles. But tonight, Target 7 found one business that is cashing in on the zero emissions revolution. Here's John Cardinelli. This right here is a map of all electrical vehicle charging stations in the state. But take a look closer. There's a gap along Interstate 25 from Raton all the way down to Las Vegas. That's where our Target 7 team met one man who's been busy helping stranded motorists trying to make it to a charging station. The pressure's on for you to own one of these, an electric vehicle. For model year 2027 passenger vehicles, 43, so nearly half of all the new vehicles sold in New Mexico must be zero emission vehicles. But are there enough charging stations to keep people traveling across New Mexico without needing one of these? But they definitely have uh, increased the uh, towing business somewhat for everybody in the towing business, you know. Many Teslas are trying to get to this charging station in Las Vegas, New Mexico, but they're coming up short. And they need a tow from Steve Lucero. He's owned Highlands Wrecker in Las Vegas for more than 40 years. He says at one point, he was towing two to three electric vehicles a week to charging stations. It's more of an inconvenience, I think, for people. You know, sometimes they get stuck out there in the middle of the night and can't get a hold of a towing company. You know, you end up staying out there for some time in the cold. Many electric vehicles, such as Tesla's, have a navigation system like this that tells you where the closest charging station is and whether you have enough power to get there. So why are electric vehicles needing a tow? Target 7 went to experts who are for and against government mandates on electric vehicles to find out why. You know, the people that are driving them understand when they look at their mileage that they have left that they need to be able to get to the next charging station. But because sometimes, you know, they have to go uphill, they have to turn on a heater or an air conditioner or any number of things that an uh, internal combustion car would handle just fine, the electric vehicle then diminishes their range greatly. Larry Barons represents Power of the Future. The organization is opposed to any government mandates on electric vehicles. And so even though they're advertised for a certain amount of range, they're clearly not delivering that amount of range. And sadly, those EV owners are paying a premium price to be able to be stranded in, you know, near Las Vegas. That is a long stretch between uh, Vegas and Raton. I've been on it many, many times. Um, I've seen broken cars. Um, so that's a problem uh, that maybe there should be a charging station. Jim McKenzie is the co-coordinator of the climate-focused organization 350 New Mexico. He said more needs to be done for rural New Mexico. We hear a lot of that in rural New Mexico. Um, they're still lacking the charging infrastructure. This is a map of all of the charging stations in the state. It's mandated by the Transportation Department. As you can see, there are many rural areas without them, and there's a big gap between Las Vegas and Raton. Target 7 went to this Tesla charging station in Las Vegas to see if anyone had close calls making it to a charge. Hello, I'm Steve Wozniak. We ran into Apple co-founder Steve Wozniak. He stopped in Las Vegas on his way to Scottsdale to get a charge. So it automatically rerouted us. We didn't do anything routed us here. We always tried to have an adventure and go a little beyond where they had their supercharger stations yeah. to figure out with our iPhone, how are we going to figure out how to charge and get back home? Wozniak says he's never needed a tow truck, but had some close calls. You know, we took risks and um, some caught up with us, but uh, the network just expanded nationwide so far. Sometimes when we travel, we look to see where are the charging stations, but that's like the old days of battery anxiety. Where, which one should we stop at? Which one we make it? With the tax rebates and the governor's mandates, electric vehicles are becoming more popular. Last year, Tesla opened a store on the Santa Ana Pueblo. But according to records we obtained from the Taxation and Revenue Department, there are 9,932 registered electric vehicles in the state. That's less than half a percent of all cars on the road. For Target 7, I'm John Cardinelli.